Good morning everyone! So I'm Proraz and I'm gonna run Pokemon Black with Soak instead of Flip Up. So to start I'm gonna manip my starter, which is a Snivy. And to do that I need to change my date and time. Date is good. And the time is this one. So since I have to wait 45 seconds <laughs> until the clocks go up, I'm gonna explain a little bit the Gen 5 manips. So Gen 5 manips takes four main parameters, which are the date and time up to the second, which is why I set up my date and time, obviously. Second one is the key presses. I'm gonna press a few... Oh wait, I didn't set up my flow timer. I'm gonna just restart the clock. Apologize. So I was always saying... Yes, the key presses. The buttons I press will impact which seeds I will hit. The third parameter is the timer zero, which is something that runners took a lot of time to understand, but that is impacted by the DS parameters, such as the name, the, the um, color, the date of birth, the description. And launching the game in auto mode quiet fix all the problems we had with that. I'm waiting for my timer to... Okay. So yes, the timer zero, as I was saying. That's why I launched in auto mode instead of normal mode in the main menu. And the last parameter is the MAC address of the console, which is a unique ID, and that makes Manips exclusive to each console. It somehow makes Gen 5 a little bit less accessible for beginners. But since in the end manips are way easier than Gen 4 for example, I think it's way simpler. Especially if you wanna run on emulators since the manips are the same for every emulator. So yeah, I use, as usual, I rename my character one, with one character and just wait for the intro to go. You can take the girl or the boy, it doesn't matter, but I prefer to play the boy because I don't like the pink in the menu with the girl. <laughs> it's too flashy for me. Now we are gonna meet our good friends Cheren and Bianca and, and her starters. First I'm gonna change my options, just like in the beginning of every Pokemon runs. And then I'll pick my good friend Snivy. Snivy, sorry. The IV's requirement for Snivy aren't very high. We want him to have like 13, no 30 IV's in attack in way to switch out the Charon Stepig. If possible, you want him to add 24 IV speeds in speed and a plus speed nature in way to speed tie the next fights, but it's not really important. For, for instance, mine is minus speed and plus attack because I didn't add any natural attacks navy with at a good time. Which means I'm at speed tie with Osha Weapon Tepig. But they aren't very big threats, so it's okay. 
Goodbye, Shawat. I love you. Yeah, I should explain this also why we pick Snivy and not Oshawott or Tepig. We could take Oshawott, but we can't take Tepig because we need Rostata to be a cut slave. And why Snivy over Oshawott? Just because it is more powerful in terms of attacking stats. And less defensive. We will need it for a later battle. We want him to die fast. Epic was used in the beginning of the speedruns when we didn't know that Big Pup was faster. Oh yeah, HM. <laughs> yeah, in French, hidden machines are called Capacité Secrète, which are CS. And it's a bit hard to... to... Let's say yes. I'm not gonna say it a lot during this one anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, you won't see Snivy a lot, and... It's maybe for the better, because it's not a very good Pokémon. Now my mother is giving me the x Transceiver, which is the uh, speedrunner's main enemies in Extended Manips. I'll explain it later after what one. Venka, hurry up. Hopefully this time I won't get an encounter on Alt 1. I had a few problems with my seed. So now the professor wants to give us the Pokedex. We won't rename her starter for two reasons. First, we won't use it much, so it's not really worse. And the second reason is that renaming the starter changes the RNG. So we really want to have a constant RNG anyway. I mean, if you rename it every time one character, you will, will always have the same RNG, but... I do not re need to rename it, so... So I keep the... No rename RNG. Let's say that. Now I get my turn map. That we won't see much. It's finally time to reach Heart 1. If you know the run a little bit, you know that we will catch a little pup on the second route. And you might wonder why we, we don't do it on Route 1. And the explanation is that we can't keep the IV RNG between battles, they go up pretty much randomly, so we could catch a little pup with the good nature and the good level on this route, but his IV will always be random. Except if you manage to do frame perfect inputs on both Bianca and Sharon fights, but I don't think anyone wants to do that.
And there is a second reason to that, that I will explain just after this route. Why did no one want to do that? Hopefully I don't get encounters. Hopefully I repaid my money well. <laughs> Please. Nice. You might wonder why I was scared of the Avengers because depending on the frame where I talked to Charen on the before the lab, my the RNG changed so. I had problems with that. So yeah, I said also that I will tell you why we don't manip the purple on route one, the second reason. And we just saw it. It is the call we just saw before. That screw up the white Pokemon RNG, let's say. If there was only one of them, it wouldn't be a problem. But there is a second one, when we will leave this town. So... Since we don't want white Pokemons on the next route, we prefer to manipulate up on the second route. For confront reasons. Buy five potions. And do another big dialogue section. The first of the long series during the war run. I loved in plasma dialogues. Early Pokémon and humans can't live together. I'm a monster to keep them in Pokéball. First Navy. Thankfully, we'll stay in the computer for a lot of the run. That way, he would be free. Anyway, it's time to fight our good friend N. The battle is not free. I could die to if he crits me too much, but hopefully it won't happen. This is the last time Snivy will kill a wild Pokemon. Not wild, but the tip. Okay, I'm alive. So it will be time to save and quit in way to catch Shirley Pup. We will save and quit to reset the RNG. And I hope I won't have to change the clock. <laughs> I hope my machine was good enough. I have a um, metronome running in the background that you don't hear but 
I need to reset my console in 30 seconds in way to don't have to change the clock. Hopefully I can make it. Hopefully the game safe too. <laughs> I visited uh, before the text box, but I know it works. Yep. Perfect. Now I need to catch it. I will low yellow ball, so it's forty three percent approximately per ball. Hopefully, I won't die. <laughs> he definitely can kill me. As you can see, one more tackle and I'm dead. Okay. Switch it to the run and continue the run. So we catch it up because it is the strongest Pokemon in the game. For now, we will somehow continue the follow the any percent route until we reach the the town with the normal gym in like 20 minutes, I suppose. The Steel Pup has perfect IV, except in special attack because... <laughs> because uh, we won't use special attack on it. It has like 25 of base stats in special attack, something like that. As you saw, I didn't took white Pokémon too. That's because I somehow drew an extended money. That's not what we call the extended money, but I extend my money after I catch my lead pup in way to don't get white Pokémon on this route. You're supposed to con to keep it until the next town. Well, not not the one just there, but. <laughs> The next one, the real next one. But that means skipping the Pokemon Center. Which I don't want to for safety reasons. So the money we have here. There isn't too much dangerous battle in this segment. Yes. That said, this one is one of them. The pig is still a pretty dangerous Pokémon due to his powerful Ember attack that can easily burn me, 10% of chance. And if it happens, uh, my attack is cut by half. He'd like to don't see it. Okay. He did tail whip, so he can't burn anymore. But his cat can burn me. Since he has the assist attack that can copy one of the pig's attack. 
just as we did. <laughs> but thankfully it was in Timber that was choose. Now that we got to see Sharon again, we're gonna go to the first gym, which is a kind of red gym. You don't really have a specific type of Pokémon. We're gonna see normal and dark types, in addition to one fire type owned by the champion. The battles aren't too dangerous, as long as they don't get crit. Oh, okay. I suppose I take it. And yeah, as a proof that lead drop is pretty strong, I already did a few battles that I didn't even have to heal. Which kind of surprised me. Usually you heal when you enter this gym. I'm still gonna heal anyway before Chili. Okay. I'm not gonna learn a ping end. I have no use to it. Was that a damage this gym? <laughs> so crazy. So yeah, I'm still gonna heal here. For safety reasons. Chile is still a dangerous opponent. And outspeeds me with his, uh, what is it called? Pencil. These Pokémon are overall have 50% of chance to go for work up and 50% to go for an offensive attack. So it's not very dangerous, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's go. Let's zoom down. If only I could get such a RNG in any percent when I win. <laughs> We just got the war up TM that is very powerful. And that a lot of Pokemon can learn. I want to chimp to Little Pup because it only has three battles left. No, a bit more. Like six or seven battles left.
But in any percent in that menu, you also learn walk up to you. To lead pep. I'm gonna heal a little bit for safety. And because I won't have another menu to heal before a long time. I'm gonna pick the dust ball to this guy. In a way to have better chances to catch Soak. I didn't talk about Soak no, right now, but... You will see it soon enough. I suppose it's better to keep the surprise. Okay, time so for the first and last mandatory HM use of the game, which is this single tree. It's so cool to don't have to learn other HMs compared to other games. Obviously, we will still run fly because we have to come back in the beginning of the game for story reasons sadly but other than that this little tree was the only mandatory HM use of the whole game no strength no surf No dive. And what is the last one? Strength? Maybe I said it already. Oh, waterfall, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't even have a water type Pokemon anyway, so. I don't see who would learn all this water chains. Right now we are just one-shotting everything thanks to Elite Pup's power. That's my grand sovereign a big threat to be honest. The two Pokémon on the screen are the are two of the main enemies of Soak. I'm not gonna lie, so I don't really like them much. <laughs> Those two make us lost so much time to set up. Soak doesn't have much enemies in this game. But the few ones it has are very powerful. Yes, go in the hole, please. It's time to get the best item of the game. Aka the Segir. <laughs> Such a damn item. We won't even see it. That said, it gave me the time, which so it's somehow useful, it would say.
Okay, time to pass by the Pokemon Center in way to buy a few repels. If I had an extended manip, I would entirely skip this Pokemon Center. But I don't. <laughs> Both because I didn't want it and because the marathon, so I don't want to just yolo herbs because I messed up my manip. Okay, time for the last Snivy fight. This is a mandatory double battle. You can pass by with only one Pokemon. Thankfully, my little Snivy is there. And hopefully, it gets scratched. Nice. I don't know who got send attacked, but hopefully it was Nivi. I'm gonna run take down. It's the best attack of the game, obviously. The best attack when it hits. <laughs> But we still love it. I'm gonna heal before the chain fight. This fight isn't too hard again, but I still can't get burned, which is why I bug a burn here just before doing my shopping. It's pretty rare too. Let's curl obviously. Okay. Easy fight. Plasma again. This will be another plasma segment and the last fights of Flip Up. Plasma stole the Little Girl Pokemon. <laughs> Reminds me of Way Two Stories. Hopefully Portrait won't do Detect. Nice. Bite is good. I'm gonna cancel my evolution because Lil Pump only has one fight left. This will be the last Lil Pump fight. I promise we will see Sog soon. I know you are all here for karate and you will get karate. Not a dumb dog just barking at enemies. I'm gonna heal for safety. And because I have to catch a Wubat just after. Oh nice, stay rip. A useful action from Tepig. What a surprise. I 
I'm not over with this grotto. I will have to catch my flying Pokémon. But I don't want the Pidov. For the sole reason that Soak is very, very, very powerful. So I want a Pokémon that can somehow survive to him. Okay, it appeared fast. Please don't die. Nice. Okay, I have a, I have a good stock of balls. I'm gonna be give seriously. I'm gonna be gifted three balls too. Two, two or three. I don't remember. But hopefully we won't need them. You don't see much Rubat in classic runs, due to the fact that most runners manip a uh, of with their extended. I'm gonna portion my Rubat. I didn't talk too much about it, but I'm tracking my step counter. I know how much extra steps I have to don't do. Because I need my step counter to... The step counter goes up to 128. And then when it reaches this number, it resets to zero. And I need it to reset to zero between the moment where I will reload the game after saving and quitting and the moment where I will encounter Soak. Otherwise, I will have messed up IVs, which are runnable, but will be quite dangerous. I'm not saying the center for safety. But surely, nothing bad will happen. And when it gets picked... Oops. Okay. Time for Soak. I know you're all waiting for him. I'm gonna change the date to 25 of 4 93 and you. But oh yeah, once again I had to save and quit to visit my RNG. And finding a soak with the good IVs and nature and level and Having a black belt equipped is pretty hard, and I'm not gonna lie. Oops. Here it is! My good old friend, Soak. Oh, unfortunate. Ha <laughs> ha.
That's why we get Wubat and not another Pokemon. Oh yes. Okay. All good, all good. Okay, not good. Okay, not good at all. <laughs> I told you Soak is a monster. Well, maybe I didn't, but... Soak is a monster in terms of attack. Which is why we went it as an alt main. And this is also why it is the second fastest Pokemon to beat this game. If you manage to catch it first try, obviously. <laughs> Usually I don't have enough balls to catch him. It is quite... It's not often that I manage to die to him. Die. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Let's go with this. Please soak. Please, please stay in the ball. Soak's catch rate is really, really bad due to how powerful it is at this stage of the game. And maybe a reason people don't want to run soak. I'm not gonna lie. And here is the main reason my estimate is so high. Catching it is a real challenge. One ball left. <laughs> please, please don't make me lose it again. Ooh, let's go! That was quite a challenge, but we managed to get it. Gonna rename it. I know this is Gen 5 and Soak isn't a long name, but it's still worse. Yeah, Twisted, please make me catch my nip. You made Plasma Skip. You, surely you can make... Uh, you can make that. I'm gonna heal. And switch. I didn't talk about it at all, but this run will hopefully feature the newly plasma skip. Newly found plasma skip. That Twisty and Lidcon managed to to make real. We will see it in around the 1 hour and 20 minute mark. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but I think the name is pretty understandable. Plasma Skip. Yeah, I totally forgot about N, but as you can see, the fight was free. Extremely free. I'm not gonna lie, the world gym will also be very easy due to the fact that I'm the... Um, 
I am fighting Pokémon versus normal Pokémon. So I quiet half the matchup. Maybe you should talk about Soak. So my Soak is Adamant. With hopefully 31 IV everywhere except in special defense where it has 29 and special attack because we don't care about special attack. And hopefully I didn't mess up my step count. If I did, I will have 29 in attack and a low defense IVs. <laughs> I don't know exactly how much, but... It's still runnable. It's clearly runnable. I already did it. But surely, surely I have the good ideas. Doesn't use Satomi. Satomi is supposed to be a quiet dangerous fight in any percent. But we soak once again. It's another free fight in this game. This is one of the reasons that catching soak is still worse. It is that it is so powerful that it managed to compensate to make up the time loss of catching it. I just quiet one shot everything that I have that don't have a bad matchup. So everything beside flying, psychic and ghost Pokemon. Thankfully there isn't too much ghost Pokemon. Because right now, yeah, right now I have nothing to beat them. I have two fighting attacks and that's all. Yeah, we won't see ghost Pokémon until the last six fights of the games. Once again, I just went shot all those little dogs. I'm sorry, little pups. I love you, but this is for the marathon's sake. I'm gonna switch Wubat first. Just to tank Intimidation on Leonora. And because I don't want any other Pokémon than Soak alive when I will leave this gym to avoid a double battle. So Leonora is supposed to be a nightmare in any percent. But you will, you will see that with Soak it's not real. Not a real threat. Once again because I have the matchup. I just need to move back to die. Perfect. Do your job Soak. And one.
And two. Woo! What an odd battle. <laughs> yeah, Sok is a monster in both attack and speed. So it quite outspeed everything in this game. The first threats will come in the next gym. Where there is bug and poison Pokémon, which obviously doesn't go well with fighting Pokémon. It's no time for a long dialogue moment, followed by a long plasma moment. <laughs> but that's why we love this game. We love Team Plasma. We love it so much that we managed to skip some of them. <laughs> oh yeah, Team Plasma stole the... What do we call Dracolos in English? I have no idea what is this Pokemon name, but they stole his skeleton skull, so Leonora isn't happy. And all the gang join us. Just to stay at the museum. And give me the wonderful dozing machine. Well, I already know where are all the hidden items. But thanks, Bianca. We love you, Bianca. This is a double battle that I wanted to avoid by killing all my slaves. They both have a sea water which isn't a good matchup for Sok. And that is just timeless compared to just send my Wubat to death against Leonora. After this battle, we will see the first trainer skip of the game. Hopefully, my run manip will work because I don't want to do classic trainer skips. <laughs> I'm gonna explain how the horse spinner works in this game just after the I pass what I pass it since I have a menu here. Bell. Walk up. Over. No, not for bets. So, yeah, walk up in way to increase my attack easily and retaliate in way to have a normal type attack for the next gym. Focus. Okay, I failed. <laughs> I failed, but I didn't get punished, so it's okay. I stopped running one tile too early. <laughs> I you really don't want to hit this guy because he has a veni pad.
So yeah, how spinner works. If you saw a gen for run, it works quite the same in terms of trainer skips. You either do one, you either go up one tile and open your menu, or do one turn frame instead of two because you can't change turn frames in this game, and then open your menu. But some trainers can be run manip, as I was supposed to do, <laughs> but somehow failed and passed. <coughs> Which will make them look in the other direction. Allowing you to freely pass. Running isn't just enough. It's a real setup. If I had done any extra step after passing the girl grunt, it wouldn't have worked. Because spinner cycles are reset by running around them, unlike Gen 4. So once you load them, the cycle of fixed and cannot be changed. I'd love to say that this is the last plasma fight until a long time. <laughs> but sadly it isn't. It's the last one in the forest, but there is another one coming just after. But everyone loves, loves Team Plasma, so it's okay. But but this girl... Which is useless, but... <laughs> Now Team Plasma is talking about liberation and <laughs> getting away because they don't want to fight two gym leaders. Which I can understand, even if I could beat them both at the same time. Thanks to Sog's power. Now it's time for the first of a long series in this game. The bridges. I don't know why they love so much bridges in this game, but this one is a 55 seconds bridge with just nothing on it. There's like three NPCs <laughs> that just says nothing. And because it's night, we don't see anything either. This is so sad. Sitting up night just for so don't fitting in the dust ball. All the efforts for nothing. Why use Disc Ball when Pokeball works? For safety, I'm gonna enter this Pokemon Center because Berg's Gym is not the easiest. Ah, but the easiest one. Charen, my friend. Love you, Charen. Big fan. Mm. 
the old Puga was gonna go for the big gym, but in reality it was another plasma segment. <laughs> Just after the first one. All my apologies. So yeah, the story here is that Team Plasma stalls Bianca's Muna. So we are chasing them around the town. To be honest, I would prefer Team Plasma to keep the Muna <laughs> because it is too annoying. When I will fight Bianca. But sadly I can skip this story part. Okay, one last plasma fight, and then I promise I will go to the gym. Counter. Counter is a bad attack. We counter when you call double kick. So yeah, another dialogue about Team Plasma stealing Pokemon. I'm talking about the Chrome, the Black Pokemon, the Black Dragon. Stay there, Muna. Don't join Bianca. Please. Stay with Team Plasma. Keep the, keep the Psychic Pokémon far from me. Time for the best gym of the game, the only gym. Look at this wonderful only worlds, and this wonderful sound. How could anyone hate this gym? As I said, bug Pokémons, bug Pokémons aren't a good matchup for Soak due to the type matchup. So you will have to use Retaliate during the the gym. Please don't poison points or oh, protect. Perfect. 
PP here isn't really important because I will use a Netzer because before uh, Bugs fight. That's so long. Just crossing any walls and pressing buttons. <laughs> there is trainers hidden in in some buttons, like the one on the left. So I don't know I don't want to press them. Extra battles is would be really problematic. Especially versus big Pokemon. Okay, one last fight one last fight and then we'll see Berg. Protected twice, so I have to improvise and see what all. Unfortunate. Not that bad since Siwadol was only a 25% range to win shot with Retaliate, but it still makes me sad. Make me sad. I'm gonna heal, use an Esser, and save. Aviate. Berg is a big wall in the game, in the speedrun in general. There isn't much Pokémon that can beat him. He has a really good uh, type uh, coverage. With a Poison Pokémon, a Grass Pokémon and a Rock Pokémon. I'm gonna Guard Spec in way to avoid Screeches, but I'm not in a red just screech anymore. I hope I will have enough heal. Uh, yeah. okay, not a really good uh, well pad. Okay. Perfect. I don't like it. Oh. Yeah. Razor Lift again. It has one chance out of eight to create sand. Unfortunately, it did. Which is why I saved. I knew that would happen. I thought Drewberg isn't a is a really big threat in this game. I wasn't playing. Having two Pokemon that have 
boosted crit chances is really really annoying. First crit, okay. This crit. Not screech. It's okay. Oh, um, yeah, you hear the poison. I love poison tail, boosted crit chances, and can poison me. Okay, I should be good now. I'm not even in Levani's range. And it often go for string shot turn one. Well, I lied. Hey, it wasn't easy, but we managed to beat Ofrenberg. I'm low HP, so I'm gonna buy a bit of healing before the next route. At the vending machines. One push water. Money isn't a problem in this game, so once you're past the second gym town, so it's really, really not a problem to buy this here. And then I heal and use my last triple. I'm using my Reaper here to set up uh, a new skip just after the Bianca's and Chain fights. In a way to avoid the menu. How much close we do I do I have? Stop. I think I need to heal before the turn <laughs> fight. <laughs> Thanks, Herdy. I'm quite unlucky in this fight. But I should have a potion left, so it's not a big problem. And I have Oren Varys too. If I'm really desperate. <laughs> yeah, I have already a little potion. I'll do a save just in case, but... 
Shirin isn't supposed to be an odd battle. Wait, resistance storm. Wait, 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 wait. I changed my mind. <laughs> I prefer to wait a little, a little bit more. Usually with Lil Pup we have the Tandridge talent, which means that we aren't affected by the Sunstorm here. But my talent with Soak is way better. It is called... I don't know the name. <laughs> but it is like an anti-flinch talent. Which is pretty useful in this game since there is a lot of deep parts with fake out. I don't need to out a chop. Maybe a little too much. I was scared of that can use hair cutter on me but he didn't so I don't have HP problems another experience saver call good morning professor So there is another train escape at the top of this route. I need to I need to focus. That's why I set up my repel earlier. It's because I don't want to use the the menu. The reason that we run soak is that it is the second faster Pokémon to finish the game. There is one fight that makes it slower than Lil Pup in the very very late game. I'm not gonna spoil which one, but... There is one nightmare fight that take us too much time compared to Lil Pup. We thought that one it should be pretty even. I'm for another plasma fight. <laughs> Once again. Obviously, hopefully, I crit one of my kicks and wait to winch a trubbish. Just like that. <laughs> nice. Just to ask. The B cycle, the best Titan of the game. Like for real, and the best B cycle every game has ever seen. Yeah, I menu the bit earlier. If I menu too fast. The game don't have the time to change the music and that makes the menu pretty slow to open. For safety reasons I'm gonna sell my ultra balls. But I don't specially need to.
Uh, should be good like that. And it will be time for a little cinematic, the first one of the game, with my good friend N. Surely it won't announce me something bad. Surely. He just wants to do the attraction with me. Surely. I'm gonna use that time to drink a little bit. No way, N is the king of Team Plasma. Who would have guessed? Not me. N's fight isn't free. I'm gonna fight him just there. And yeah, he's pretty dangerous due to one Pokemon, which is a Sigilyph, which has a four, four resistance. Like it is a flying and psychic type, so he resists a lot to my moves. Oops, forgot to switch uh, Wubat and Soak, but. That wasn't supposed to happen, but it's okay. Because of Sigilive that I have to set up to plus 3 there. I could have set up to plus 2 and go for the 75 range. 75% but... This is a marathon. <laughs> And not getting the range is very dangerous. I took a lot of damages, so I'm gonna heal before I enter the gym. My friend, you were. I'm gonna switch since I forgot when I PC held. This is the electric gym, so it has a water coaster system that I can change with some interrupters. The gym itself is not free because all of of the Pokemon are Emolgas that has the flying type. And as I said, you don't like flying types when you are a flying a uh, fighting type. And in addition to that they have static which has a 30% chance to paralyze me when I hit them. Okay, got lucky this time. No miss and no power, so I'm gonna be able to just continue without opening my menu. Missing a retaliate isn't too bad, but... If I can avoid, it will be better. I'm 
Blizzards aren't a big threat, but they are cool. They do have. Um, how do you say it? Yeah, I don't know the name of the attack, but the thing that paralyzes you. But since we had speed, it's not a big problem. Elisa won't be an easy fight, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very scared of Elisa. It's probably the second hardest fight of the game with Soak. With Burr being the third one. Last grand fight, and then we'll see Elisa. I don't really care if it paralyzes me since I have to heal before Elisa. static we did not manage to dodge them all hyper potion release heal and I'm gonna learn return now over all of sweep since I don't have any more retaliate pps Elisa has two emulgas, which is quite problematic. And getting static would also be a big problem. They use Iron Ace instead of Volt Switch, since it's super effective. Or pursuit when they are done. <laughs> what are you doing, Emulga? I'm not in QA range. There are you. Unlucky. Can I run Brick Break over Retaliate? Unfortunately, I have to heal to full here. I forgot to save before the fight. Please don't crit me. <laughs> okay. No crit, no paywa. So it's all good. You won versus Celesa. Let's go! This was quiet the last fight because before a long time. The next gym is the ground one, so there isn't much threat for me. The flying one might be a little bit dangerous, but hopefully it will go well.
this time to dress up for little soak in company of my good friend Bianca. I love Bianca. HP should be good. It's not mandatory to put an accessory on your Pokemon, but it's fun to put one. Daddy? <laughs> cast dad that wants her to come back to Nuvema Town. Thanks to the RSA will save her. Bye, Daddy. It was cool to see you. Goodbye, Bianca. We are not gonna fight. Going to fight another time, Cheren. It's not a very hard fight. Stock is quiet at its poor spike right now, with Brick Break at, as its main move. So there is really, really, really no threat. And as you will see, I will go through Fake Out, thanks to my talent. Uh, oh, I'm in range of quick attack. I'm gonna heal just in case. Yep, I would have died. I did well. I have a free heal just after this fight. This is why I didn't want to heal, but. Right now we are gonna encounter a very, very important character of the game. My good friend, Alde the Champion. And he's super ten. We will see him again during the game. And obviously at the end too to fight him. There's no way we can skip the champion, right? Fight isn't a danger since I have Brick Break. Normal type Pokémon can do anything against me. Obviously, it attacks me. Unfortunate. Goodbye, Alder. It was a pleasure to see you. Another cinematic time. 
Watch this beautiful bridge and this beautiful sky. Surely I won't get an encounter on the bridge. There is some shadows on the bridge that contains either an item or a Pokemon that can spawn. It seems that none of them did. Oh, it did. Just there. And if I enter on it, bah... It's timeless. <laughs> I do not know how, it's, how it is called, but... It contains either a feather or a ducklet. But I don't need a flying Pokemon at this moment of the game. I already got mine. So now the story leads me to the cold storage, which contains two trainer skips. I do this a setup for the first one, so I'm gonna focus a little bit. I do not know the one for the second, but one exists too. Fortunate. Fortunate. I'm a bit sad that the first setup didn't pass, but it's okay. And now it is time once again for plasma fights. <laughs> and as you can see, there is a lot of them. I don't have to fight all eight of them, thanks to Charon being with me, but I still have to, to fight all of, half of them. I'm gonna just win shot all of, of all of them. I don't think that's a big surprise, but <laughs> I suppose it's better to say it. Plus my grunts is one of the reasons that people don't really like this game. There is a very, very, very huge amount of them. This is like the, the symbol of Gen 5. It's quite the same in White 2. Like, one out of three fights it is a plasma fight. <laughs> Oh, the sbire. Je n'aime pas les sbires. And because they use dark or normal Pokémons, they are obviously not threats to to soak. The last one, another brief break, and it's over. Goodbye, Plasma. We will see them again very soon, but 
Thanks, Willy. We will skip some of these future fights. Stay tuned for the the next segment after the gym. If I don't screw up it, obviously. Time to go to the run gym. <laughs> they ordered, ordered us to find the team plasma in order to be able to fight him. So that's what we did. And now team plasma isn't happy because they cog up some of these grunts. So the terrorist Gettys is threatening to attack the town just to get back his friends. Okay, the ground gym isn't very hard. The concept is a kind of maze with elevators, but if you know the pattern it's not very hard. Trainers are on very strong too. Palpitoid is the most resistant Pokemon in the gym. Well, Excadrill is the most resistant, but due to his steel type, it's not a big threat. And Wilbur is also the most weak Pokemon I ever met. <laughs> I'm gonna be hated by white two runners for saying that, but there's a brick break. Yes, twisty. We hate Drillbear. Drillbear is a clown that can't even beat his first gym alone. <laughs> Why would I play a Pokémon that can't even be independent? Last bun fight be before the leader. And the old red bureau that will win shot. Yeah, I totally respect Dribble at main in black one. Especially with all the manips that are made to make him viable. But it doesn't change that this is a very, very bad Pokémon compared to Lil Pup or even Soak. Even Tepic is better. Time for the Clay fight, which isn't a threat at all. <laughs> it's gonna be three Brick Breaks. Work work isn't resistant to fighting attacks. Neither is Excadrill, and Palpito isn't resistant enough to resist me. This is the main segment where Soak make up all the time he lost to Little Pop in the Leonora split due to being touched. They're pretty even from this point. 
in terms of time. the gym. I'm gonna pass by quickly to the Pokemon Center and wait to buy Max Repels. We definitely had the money to buy Super Repels in the previous shop, but coming here and buying Max Repel is more worth due to less menu. I'm buying a lot of things, but I definitely don't need them. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I don't need all this heal. And there isn't a lot of Pokemons that can kill me, so revives are not gonna be useful neither. But you know, it's a marathon, so... We play safe. Time for my good friend Bianca. I told you I hate Muna and Musharna, and that's because Bianca owns one, and it makes me work up three times just to be able to kill it. This is so dumb. Uh, he's in range of killing me, so I'm gonna heal for safety. Dog is too powerful for me. <laughs> Goodbye, Msharna. I hate you. You're the worst Pokemon event created. Pens here, I love you. <laughs> and now Bianca gives us the fly HM, which I'm gonna teach right now after repeating. Hyper Potion There will be 3 tra trainer skips in this route Again I do not need this elixir, so I'm gonna just keep it And if I have problems, well you Just blame the, ch the chat Yeah, stay tuned on this is the grotto where we redo this new skip called the Plasma Skip that will allow us to skip a few trainers that are supposed to be mandatory. It's not a glitch. It is an exploitation of the mechanic of the game, so we can't call it a glitch. But I'm not gonna spoil you what will happen. I prefer to let you see before. I need to go through this floor before, so you have a little bit of time. But it will be the first time it will be showcased in the marathon since it had been found like three or four weeks ago. 
well, formed is not the good word, but we know it. We knew it was possible from a long time, but made possible is a better choice of choice of words. Need to change my offset, by the way. <laughs> Did he really cross the cloud? What? Uh, okay, my stripper. I'm good. I never saw a trainer cross a dust cloud. That's the first time. It's coming, guys. It's coming. Just let me go down the stairs. I'm gonna save and quit in a way to do it because it's energy manipulation. But the plasma skip is coming. I'm not doing the easiest one too. I'm gonna set back my little pop days. My little pop dates because I didn't did a special plasma skip for Soak. But consider that there is one for every single date. Multiple one. There's like more than 50 possible seeds for each date. I'm gonna focus during my movements, so I apologize. <laughs> no, I bumped twice. Okay. This is the plasma skip. I make this cloud spawns in front of plasma grunt vision so that they can see me and they don't aggro me. I'm gonna focus again. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Two out of four. There is too much, too more of them. But for now, it's going pretty well. Yeah, I was counting my steps. I'm gonna explain during this fight how the scout works. So every time you do 20 steps, there is a check made to make spawn. Uh, dust cloud and depending of your current seed or your current no your current RNG something like that both of them there might be a dust cloud spell and Twisty and Lincoln made a script in way to found seeds with it my apologies So as I was saying, Linkard and Twisty made a script where you input your DS parameters and it gives you the different seeds where you can do the plasma skip with how much you have to advance the RNG and which tiles you have to go on to make the dust cloud spawn. So big thanks to them. 
one last just like that it seems super easy but in fact it's super super complicated The estimate time save is around 1 minute and 30 seconds. Well, that's my estimate, but there isn't an official estimate. Since you have to make up the XP loss, especially in any percent. Otherwise, if you don't take the candy, there is a, a Night Dragon that outspeeds you in the very last fight of the run. You could skip the candy, but then, <laughs> then you would have to yellow if Focused Blast hits your Pokémon or not to 30% of chance to survive to the run. I really, really hope no one ever get down to do this to improve their time, since the candy is like 10 second time loss. But I had to tell it, you theoretically can skip the candy and still survive. But please don't do it. Sock do not have this problem. I'm still gonna take a candy to avoid too much ranges on the Elite 4, but... In theory... Sock can skip every single candy of the run. Since he doesn't have speed problems. Also, in any percent, you're supposed to put one more repel in the grotto because you have to pick up another elixir. So, another time saves of soak. <laughs> I'm glad I managed to do the plasma skip entirely. Because it's really, really, really not easy. You have to track your RNG. And I do the hard one, where I don't almost don't do any... How do you say? Turn frames? Expel, Elixir. Candy. And it hoops balloon. Yeah, during my plasma skip I almost did no turn frames and this did use my bike. But you can entirely remove the bike if you're not at ease with it and convert it to turn frames. But obviously, the bike is faster. <laughs> so I'm going for the fastest one. And obviously, manips are unique to each console, so this trainer skip is. this plasma skip, apologies. Is unique to my console and every runner have a different one. That's quite the main problem of Gen 5, having to route a lot of manips. You have to route your starter, you have to route your lead pup and your extended manip. And now you have to route Plasma Skip. Good moment. Oui, ça va, maman. Apologize, my mother decided to 
cantor Tunis. Uh, during the two last floors, I was manipulating the trainers by pressing B. When I press B, they just turn in, on the, in another direction. So I just have to time my B presses. Pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of theoretical manips that are trying to be made in this run. Well, in the any person run, obviously, in way to gain time. Plasma skip might be only the first one of a long theory. Some people are trying to manip objects with the pickup ability of Lil Pup, for example. As Twitty said, the King's Rock, even if personally I don't think it's forced to manip it. We also know how to manip the Pokerus. We have scripts for it, but it implies exciting fights at a frame perfect. Like entering and exiting fights on the same frame. On the constant frame, sorry for the process of, of world, but people don't do it because they don't think it's worth, I guess. And they are quite right. Even if the in any percent right now it might be more worse since it would be able to skip the candy with the Pokeris. Stay tuned for Pokemon Black runs that might become more crazy in terms of manips in the next months. Depending of how much runners want to push the, those manips. Oops. I'm not talking much about this gym. It's the following gym, but I quiet one shot everything, so there isn't much to say. I see this segment is faster with Soak than Lil Pup to tell you. So it's really not a danger. And the main reason it's not a danger is because most of the Pokémon of the gym have the, the normal double type. We can just break break every dangerous Pokemon. I love break break. I'm gonna level up and learn a secret attack for later on the run, which is called Endure. Uh, Oops, not now. After the next one, since the XP route changed. Obviously not fighting runs means less XP. But yeah, I'm gonna learn a, a secret attack that will be useful very very late on the game. Okay. Unlucky range. Okay, maybe I don't learn it here, neither. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I didn't update in my net well. Time for Skylar. 
Maybe I should have healed. Uh, I might regret not healing. We'll see that right now. I need 62 HP. Yep, I need to heal. Uh, wait, you can just shoot me. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, that works. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. Ah, here's the secret move. Endure. You might wonder why endure. Because right now it pretty much don't have any use. But it will come in combination with another attack that we will learn after the big, huge plasma segment. To exit the gym with this wonderful cannon again. Another end encounter. Thankfully, this is not a fight. That would be very, very tricky if it was just after the gym. But no, it just tells me that. So close me. And show his wonderful animation of saying no with his head. It's such a dumb animation that will be shown all along during the game. That's the second time I pass in front of the trainer below the the lugs, that's because it's a triple battle and since I only have two Pokemons in my party he can't uh, start the battle Let's repel, I don't have to heal since I healed on the... on the bat And the Churn fight, which is not... Well, it is somehow dangerous, because Enfizant has one chance out of four to crit me with his offensive attacks. So I have to heal above 100 HP in order to avoid that. That said, it's only one chance after three to attack, so it's not a big, big threat. Goodbye, Grass Monkey. You will never, you will never be forgotten from the old and person Tepig Run. Love you. I never ran the pig, but I'm still paying my respect for the old runners. Alder, my good friend. Did I told you I love Alder? I mean. Who wouldn't love the champion of the region? His fight is the most epic one of the run. You really, really don't want to miss it. 
He gave me Surf, but again, I don't have any Pokémon to that can Surf, and I don't need it, so... Thanks, but... No thanks. I didn't talk about it, but the boulders have the sturdy ability. So yes, they are supposed to not be able to be one-shot. Things that seem new to, to Gen 5. In Gen 4 and Prior, it was just using you to attack such as Sheer Cold. But from Gen 5, Gen 5 and onward, it protects you from being one shot. But double kick hits two times, so. Time save once again. I didn't talk about if the date has an impact on the game, but being on winter allows you to skip the entirely the entirety of this mountain since it's filled with snow. Otherwise, you have to take a very very long way and fight optional trainers. So you really 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 want to play in winter. Issue. I'm being able to like one uh, one step. I'm gonna get a candy on this town and snipe some kids. Nice. This is the Ice Gym, so obviously as a fighting type, it's not a big threat. All the Pokémon are pure ice, so... And the free gym for my good friend Silk. Karate power. You just break break and double kick everything. Sure, no endure, which is the attack I learned before during the flying gym. It allows him to survive at 1 HP, whatever happens. But <coughs> don't have 100 success rate if you use it twice in a row. Just like protect or attacks like that. It's kinda time loss. But I have to deal with it. Diagonals don't have anything dangerous. They are just there flying. The guard is useless. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about it, but this gym contains a, a glitch. <laughs> the one and only useful glitch of the game. We'll saw it once we are a bit more deep in the gym. It's a glitch that has been now since the game is out. And some of you probably know it. But in three mo in two more fights, we will see it.
No, RNG manipulation isn't glitch. RNG manipulation is cheating. This is not the same thing, Twisty. Especially in Gen 5, where no one can copy your cheating. Okay, one last fight before the glitch. It's gonna be very fast, so keep your eyes open. I guess I can take my time since the estimate of the run was down before the apparition of Plasma Skip. <laughs> so I have 1 minute 30 of margin. And here comes the glitch. Look at that. I just went through the rock. It's not really known why it is like that. They just forgot to put the collision of the rock. So you can cross it to dodge the, the last Karateka. I don't even know which, what Pokémon own the last Karateka. <laughs> I never put him. Poor guy. Standing there for the eternity. Well, he has hands the uh, Ice Gym. Wasn't a big threat, as I said. Maybe having double types would have changed anything, but they didn't, so. Goodbye, Bryson. Another win for Riolu Boy. <laughs> Nah, no, that's not the good game. It will be time for the worst section of the game. If you thought I was strong just before, you're not ready for the 14, 28, 28 plasma Pokémons to win shot in two different locations, followed by the worst gym of the game, my good old dragon gym. This is another big reason why people do not run this game. They really, really, really dislike how boring is this section. And there is no much way to make it entertaining. Like you just went shot everything. And there is literally no interesting movements in this tower. At least in the desert res resort that we will go at after. There is good movements, but there is like nothing in this tower.
No, that's not the solution, Twisty. I want to go to the lead for. Just find a glitch to go through the plasma grunts that blocks the next bridge. That's the solution everyone wants. The lead for is like the cake of the game. That's why everyone is here for. Surely you wouldn't skip the most interesting part of the run. Just remove the plasma grunts collision. Just like we don't have collision in the gym with the two works. I need to keep five returns. How much do I have? Ten, nice. And... Okay, double click the next two fights and then full return. Key management isn't a big problem in this run. There is like PP items everywhere in the game. And double kick have a million PP so. Another double kick. Oh wait, I need to use one in the next fight too. I'm trying to keep returns PP because I'm gonna get rid of return during this tower. Wait, maybe close combat is found somewhere else. Wait, Cold Combat is probably learned a bit later since the XP route changed. I might just be able to spam return during the entirety, the entirety of the tower. Which doesn't change anything. I still need to double kick this. For this one, we will have done half of the tower, which is already a big performance. Okay, one last. The next floor will have a kind of puzzle. If we can call that a puzzle. More like a maze. But we've seen all the maze. <laughs> It was so hard. I'm gonna pick this max elixir. I said PP management was easy, but I still need to use a few PP items. With soak, I only use three of them. Among the whole run, which is a pretty low number to be honest. But yeah, this is a generation where you don't have a million free heals, unlike the most recent ones.
et 3 left. Another one shot, what a surprise. Good alarm, close combat, over double kick. I think I don't need to explain how powerful this close combat. <laughs> Especially when it's, when it's stab it. So any fake out in the tower? Oh, I don't remember any. But here's one. But it's useless thanks to my wonderful talent. Okay, last one. And then we have a wonderful cinematic. Because Team Plasma isn't just there to annoy me. There is really something going on in the, at the top of the tower. Go away, great. It is him. It is N. And the legendary dragon. Zekron! We are playing Pokemon Black, so I'm not gonna catch Zekron. I'm gonna catch the other one, Reshiram. And this is one of the main reasons that we play on Pokemon Black and not White. But anyway, Reshiram is way more cool than Zekrom, so it's not a problem. So now there will be a big dialogue to tell me, Wow, we need to fight the other dragon! Alder! My good friend, I love Alder. Alder is telling us to go to the Relic Castle in way to find the item that makes Reshiram spawn. Surely the item is out there, and I'm not doing a wall plasma gunted for nothing. It seems that the oldest game was a marathon. You will see way older games. Another trainer skip. Ah, oh, unfortunate. I went into sand. That's perfect, so that no one see my mistake. <laughs> Nothing happened. Surely I didn't went in the black sand.
Oops. <laughs> I'm not supposed to fight this girl. Anyway, it's just a West Drug. <laughs> I'm supposed to pass right off her, but I'm too used to the one I skipped before the electric town. I'm going here to take the stop stand. This is an adaptation I made to the route. It will be used a bit later on the run. Oops. This place with feature a, good, a cool feature, which is the uh, moving sand. If I run on them, I will be bringed. Oops. We'll see that just after this fight, but soft hands are cool. Where are your other Pokémon? Who needs Pokémon when you have the power of Karate? Why would I take other Pokémon? I have one to destroy anything, everything, one to fly, and that's all. Maybe I should find a Pokémon that can both destroy everything and fly. So the, the sun makes me go to the lower stages. And I only want to take some of them. And to time my running tide well in a way to doesn't to don't lose time. <laughs> I mean even using an alt main somehow a casual play too. Oops. Well, that's what happens when you have skill issue. <laughs> this one is the least punishing one to fail on, so it's okay. Yeah, an Iron Man, where all the grunts have some dumb grunts Pokemon. Surely that's it. Me. Well, it seems that I have a big skill issue today, but I'm not supposed to bike in the sand. <laughs> I'm supposed to get down. But it seems that I can't press Y. Unfortunately, Twisty, Jadiwi told me that it will need a lot of time for his run. Since he's gonna break the manip just after the starter, so I don't want to take him too much time. <laughs> Love you, Jadiwi. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna shiny hunt. In addition to that, Haldea is a very, very, very dangerous fight. So I make sure to 
keep um, the most of time I can to to beat him. The odds to beating him first time is are very 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 low. After all, that's the champion. Obviously, he's really strong. That's Plasma Fight of the Game! Finally! Surely I will not meet another Plasma member of the during the rest of the run. Surely. Surely the rest of the run will just be beating the last gem and the valid for. Surely. Look, that's all there. He is so strong, he didn't even have to beat the Plasma Grants. I told you, he is a monster. I'm not sure if Sok will be able to beat him. Goodbye, Gitis. Thanks for the long dialogue that I obviously didn't read and that no one read. I'm gonna heal and fly to the town where I catch the soak in way to get my super lightstone. Which means I did all this plasma gun trade for nothing. <laughs> and the stone wasn't there. Happens, I guess. I didn't use much X attacks, so I'm not gonna buy more of them. Surely I won't regret it. <laughs> So yeah, we got the Lightstone, which is used to make fresh Realm spawn, but we don't know how to make it spawn. <laughs> so the Lightstone is useless for now, and we are going to the last gym, the Dragon Gym, hoping that the Gym Reader will know how to make it spawn. Spoilers, he don't. Another benefit of winter is that the water is frozen here. I think it's not surfable water anyway, but... Yeah, it's probably more time plus time save, but anyway. At least trainers can't see me like that. 
as you saw, I went in front of a lot of trainers and they, didn't, they just didn't attack at me. They can't walk on the ice. This is the last Bianca fight. And as every Bianca fight, I have to use a lot of setup items. Wow. Okay. Bad dog. I think I will have to heal due to this attack. Doing the gem. Or maybe not with the level ups. We'll see. But once again, the big dog showed that he's, he's very strong. Bianca gave me a full restore that will be useful at the Elite Four. Thanks you, Bianca. Most useful character of the game. It is easy. I'm glad I found the late stone. But think I'm bad, so... I think I can beat N. Which is weird since we won't see him again. We only have the last gym and the elite for left. Why would I fight N again? I do not understand. Time for another big plasma dialogue. Alder! I love Alder. He tells people that he awakened the crumb. And that now people must obey him and freeze their Pokémon. But obviously, no one cares about him. And here are the Dragon Gym leaders. I said leaders, because depending on the version of the game, the leader will change. We are playing Pokemon Black, so the leader will be the old man, Raiden. But if you play Pokemon White, it is Iris. And it would be better to fight Iris because his Dragon will not have Rock Skin. But getting hit by rock skin is better than playing the crumb. <laughs> and this is the real reason. The crumb is really really bad.
So now they tell me the story of Fresh Ram and the Chrome, but no one cares about it, so... Let's just go through. And now, it is time for the worst gym of the game. You took the fight gauntlet was over with Plasma? Well, you were wrong. Time for 8 battles in a row before Draiden. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Why did it did that? Now, it's time. But she has a big things that annoy people in this game is that you gain few plasma gauntlets and one gym gauntlet which are 24 battles in a row where you just one shot everything and people don't like to one shot everything I also learned re reversal over return, which is the attack that will be I will use in combination with endure later on the run. In, in wait with very strong the enemies. What's strong soak on? I don't know what soak on is, but soak is the second fastest Pokémon to beat this game. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I get it now. <laughs> Come on, six battles left. The concept of this gym is that you jump on interrupters in way to move the dragon's head. But since the way is very, very, very indicated, not really a maze. And it's just a uh, Train our gauntlet <laughs> that only have two species of Pokémon. Even Plasma Grants have more diversified Pokémon. It's such a shame. Like you have Fracture, Judrigan, Dino. That makes three. Time to use close combat for the first time of the run. Because Dru Dru Druidigon. Druidigons are pretty tank. It's so hard to say this name. One latest close combat. They have rock skin, so I'm gonna take a little bit of damages. But it's not that important. Well, fight was there.
Mr. Dino. They don't even have the evolution of Dino in the gym. It's so sad. The gym is so empty. Or maybe Soak is just too strong. Maybe we should switch to Soak in any percent. Press this button twice and wait to make it back to normal. That's the only tricky part of the of the gym. Well, tricky is a big word, man. I don't think you even have the choice to go somewhere else. It's not really tricky. We break. I can't reverse all. I don't have I'm not low enough in terms of HP. And I am low HP enough to skip plus combat on Dreden, which saves two text boxes. <laughs> but I suppose that if you end up universal, you lost time somewhere else. In fact, we lost time to Bianca that decided to attack me on turn 3. So, yeah, not that worse. Last grunt of the gym! Surely Raiden will be hard to fight. Surely. Damage is on Bianca, which means I won't have to heal before Sharon. Yep. Let's go, Draden. Surely this fight will be hard. Surely. How could this old man not be hard? Yeah, I'm bad at bunking. But surely that you will you won't break your money during the next run. Surely. Well, Raiden is over. And I'm in a good HP. You'll be able to skip the hill. I need to be careful after Cheren, there will be a spinner that if I take, I cannot beat. Like, I will have to wipe if I hit him. <laughs> this is not a joke. I can take any optional on the run. Well, not, not any, but any spinner on the run. 
Beside Ace Trainer Cheyenne. Ace Trainer Cheyenne is unbeatable, literally. But I need to beat Cheyenne first. One thing at a time. Surely you won't lose money before you be live, surely. I mean, I got the full plasma skip first time. Surely Jadi we won't put shame on the French winners. Oops. That doesn't work. <laughs> Just repeat me what you said. I didn't understand well. Okay, let's turn fight. With my current HP, it will just be 4 reversals. Yeah, the Rock 10 music is very cool, but you won't hear it much. Since I don't do the... The super skill trainer skip just after. I do the baby one. So I will go up and down on my bike. Yes, reversal is 150 here. 150. Well, not anymore. <laughs> it is until I'm above 17 HPs. When this Leopard is a very weak Pokémon, it's not a problem. And thanks to Charon, I just lost my reversal. Thanks, Charon. That decided to heal me. Well, there is only one fight before saying it for. Okay, trainer skips time. Perfect. The victory road in this game is pretty long, but not because of battles, there is only one mandatory battle. As you will see. And there is a double trainer skip on, on one trainer. That has a setup. That hopefully I will be able to blow up. Then since I messed up the... <laughs> The one on the very first spinner of the game, I'm not very confident. The Victory Road also have a big particularity, which is that even if I go up and down on my bike, we will never hear the bike music, it will always stay the Victory Road music. Which, in my opinion, should be the case during the whole game, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, it isn't. Victory with time. We're gonna stop just there for the only mandatory fight and then it's a, it's a straight line up to the Pokemon League. A 
guys come back angry great and now let's just hope I don't take any option at all <laughs> The red portion of dirt here are places where I can get encounters and inside the grottoes it's just everywhere obviously. Spinner. Perfect! Managed to use the cool setup. The first part was just pausing at a good moment. That was close. And the second word was just a classic run manip. Me. Stop! This is not plasma skip. I did not need the clouds. Stop. Having one is pretty rare on the victory road, but two. Thankfully, it didn't spawn in my way. Let's go! Elite 4 and my good friend Aldea. We can do the Elite 4 in any order in this game. We're gonna start with Scream Slay, obviously, because he is a dark type user. And so have the matchup. <laughs> it's as simple as that. It's just gonna be four brick breaks. But the next ones are more tricky. The last one especially. Let's go Grimstray. out, unfortunate. There's no effect on me obviously since I have the anti flinch capacity talent. Uh, I hope I really develop. Yeah. I might not have to heal since I will level up and that will use the candy after. I should be good. I never came here with the plasma skip, so I'm not used to have less XP, even if I took a candy. Which is why I'm wondering a few things. I'm gonna equip my black belt back. Use my rare candy. I should have 151 HP. So only one out of 16 chains today. Surely I won't die. <laughs> Surely over Nicholas will just miss Focus Blast. Surely. Oh wait, it's not Focus Blast, it's Psychic. My bad, my bad. We are not in any percent. Caitlyn is a Psychic Pokemon user, so obviously I don't have the matchup. Which is why I have to be quiet for life. But thanks to Angel and Reversal, we will be able to beat her pretty easily.
o el pequeño Viva Soul. I have Viva Soul 150 right now, but I need 200 in way to beat Sigilif. So I'm gonna use Andrew here to survive with Shana. That crit me and drop my special defense, okay? <laughs> Sorry for saying you were the most Pokemon earlier. <laughs> if Sigilif wasn't there, with Reversal 150 would be enough. But since he resists twice to fighting attacks, we need 200. Remember my HP right now. I have 1 HP, but there will be there will be a magic trick when I will enter the martial fight. My HP won't be 1 anymore. <laughs> martial is quiet free too, since I have reversal 200 right now. But Soak is a problem because he has Sturdy, so I can't one shot him and I don't have double kick anymore to somehow go through. The fastest strat is to learn Bulldoze earlier on the previous menu and just max revive to skip the next menu that I will do. Well, I spoiled Bulldoze, but. Anyway. And I should have 2 HP on this fight. Yep. I got the magic HP. The real explanation is that during the keeping fight I gained HP EVs. Which... changed my stats between battles. So now I think I should talk about Chantal. Chantal is the next fight I have to do, and if you look at my kit, I do not have any attacks that can hit her. I have 3 fighting attacks and endure. And that is the main reason that makes Soak slower than Lil Pup. Is that I have nothing to manage Chantal without learning a TM. Oh, okay. Calm Soak, calm. Which means I will have to run Bulldoze, which is the best attack I can learn. And I can tell you it's not a good attack. In addition to that, Chantal Pokémon have Psychic. Which is super effective and can drop my my uh, special defense. No, <laughs> no, it is slower, Christy. You perfectly know it. I, re I already do sense of soft sense strat, which is a new thing that I made. Which allows me to skip one X attack on Kofagrigus. But make a 13 X in 16 range on Golurk. Surely I will hit it. <laughs> Consistency, consistency. No, no, no. There is no consistency. You underestimate Golurk. Golurk is a monster. Every single one of, Sh of Chantal's Pokémon are monsters. Kofagrigus is a tank with Psychic and Willow Wisp. Well, Chandler is a ship. Chandler doesn't exist. And Golurk is a monster with Curse and a lot of tankiness too. Oh, nice dodge. And the next attack. Say chic, okay. 
This should KO. That didn't KO, okay. <laughs> I do not know why. Uh, I think I'm in trouble now. <laughs> that wasn't the plan. Why didn't I do shot? Calculation went wrong. Well, he'll just spam Bulldoze, I guess. Yeah, you have enough PP. Well, I don't know why my calculation was wrong, but it's okay. Let's do. Let's let's say I went shot at Kofa Grigris and everything went well. Eighty-one percent, maybe less. <laughs> why do I get? The color range, but don't touch at Kofa Grigis. This is madness. I do not understand. Anyway, Elite 4 is now down. It is finally time to beat my good friend Aldea. We saw him. All along the run, I hyped you for his fight. I can say he is stronger than a lot of other champions of other generations. I will have a lot of ranges, a bad ranges. But surely, surely I will make it true. Wait, what? Why is the end here? Aldea, what happened? Aldea, my friend! What happened? Aldea, no! Aldea got destroyed by end. What a plot twist. I will not fight Aldea. My apologies. And now we will chain a lot of cinematics. There is more cinematics in this world split than in the world game. <laughs> I do not know why did they did that. But... At least it's hype, let's say. Oh, Charon! My good friend. I love you, Charon. Goodbye, Alder. I really wanted to fight you, but... Goodbye. You are bad, Alder. I can't fight you. Oh no, another Plasma Gunplet. Time to fight 6 Plasma Grunts. Or maybe not. Not if the gang rise up. Oh, gym leaders! Is this plasma skip? This is plasma skip. I skip the six plasma plasma leaders. Just after the the Alder skip.
So yeah, now we have to climb the the castle. Yeah, exactly. I lied when I said I had to fight out there, but I just have to fight N and it will be over. Like... Who would show up to fight me? Once I beat him? No one. Who has the power to beat N? Who could threaten to be stronger than N? <laughs> Come, Sinesh. I will change the vocal. Red. No, red is bad. I destroyed him yesterday. Not yesterday, but... Twice last week. <laughs> it's not for us in Gen 5. Surely one day... Surely one day I will find a strategy in this game too. Nemoma. Who the fuck is Nemoma? Oops. I swear. I apologize. Another cinematic. Sacrum. When does the time exactly end? There will be a big dialogue with N, then his face will be in big plan, and when it, fade it fades black after uh, the dialogue, uh, where well, you, you know, you, you will know. <laughs> after farewell. I'm bad at explaining that. This is not Pokemon vocabulary. <laughs> but yeah, there will be a big photo of the head of N, and you will say farewell, and it will fade black. Time for Reshiram to spawn. Reshiram, way better than Zekrom, by the way, both in power and appearance. <laughs> yeah, we always blame the DV. The DV will do one hour of overestimate. Surely. I mean between each run. Pokemon Black, the game Pokemon Black is better, but the White Dragon is better. So I suppose I'm in a safe place. So now I have to catch Reshiram, this is mandatory. If you don't catch him, you can't fight N. And if you don't have Pokeballs, well, you just leave. <laughs> You, you literally have to leave the Elite Four to go buy Pokeballs and fight again the Elite Four to access the castle again. <laughs> this is so damn. Reshiram can be a troll too if he is minus special attack with bad IVs and then you have to improvise because I don't have notes for that <laughs> but surely he isn't a troll surely he is plus special attack surely he will win shot the chrome for his superiority Go on, Reshiram, I believe in you. Look. 
<rire> bah, c'est pas grave, mec. Rimbozo. Now I have to die to Karakosta. After a little slash to proc his sturdy. And as you can guess, a rock type Pokémon won't do well against my big soak. Goodbye, Karakosta. Surely Kling Klong will, re will resist more. Surely he has the type matchup. <laughs> yeah, surely Vanilux would survive. Surely he has the type matchup too. Surely the work without any any diggers might will survive. Surely. Ah la 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 la. And it's so bad. The power of Karate is just too strong. And close combat because I don't have the super effective, but... This is quite the same. Goodbye, N. It was a pleasure to fight you. The run is finally over! Not now, not now, but... Who is that? Gatis? What the fuck? The Rohark do have illusion, but because there wasn't Pokémon in the good spot, he's supposed to degas in Kling Klang, but I killed him before, so he didn't have anything to change in. But yeah, why is Gatis talking? He doesn't have a legendary Pokémon. He is weak. Go away, Gitis! You can't face me! You don't have to, the right to face me! Oh no, Kofagrigus is back! <laughs> My nightmare is back! <laughs> Besides Chantal, this is the only ghost Pokémon I have to fight in the whole run. Toxic, okay. Protect, obviously. Time to don't get crit. I don't even know the French name of Kofakri <laughs> Well, it is GG. Yeah, get his West is a banger. Oh, get his name. Okay, okay. My bad, my bad. But yeah, as you can see, Soak is a monster of power, even without the black belt. Because I have the soft stand equipped right now. <coughs> I just need to class combat the Electros <laughs> and the Seismito head, and it's over. And obviously, Bishop is not a good matchup for a battle type Pokémon. Surely, Bishop will survive. Surely. <laughs> yeah, surely. I mean, I didn't equip the Lucky Egg for the last few fights. I should be higher level normally. Blah, blah, blah. The run is over, stop talking. I promise this time there is not a, sub a surprise fight. I promise.
Stop trying to build, this is not on. <laughs> Without offense, my dear Twisty. Now we fight Professor Caterina. I don't know her name. <laughs> this is so sad. This is the first plan spot I was talking and time. The power of karate. Karate won once again. But sadly the karate is not strong enough to compare with the strong dog. Thanks for the GG's. This is a cool run to show up. There isn't much happening compared to Lil Pup in my opinion, but it's still cool to see what looks like the second fastest route. Go set up, Jadi, oui, instead of talking and trolling in the chat. <laughs> yeah, and shout out to Twisty and Lincoln for making the program to allow us to plasma skip. Big, big thanks to them. It didn't bring back the hype on the run, but <laughs> thanks to them anyway. And that's quite all. I don't have much more to say. I would love to fight out there, but... 8412 is way too long. And I have absolutely zero nuts for it. Yeah, good transition. Thanks to you for letting me win.